praise the living God. This is going to be an amazing time in His presence, even as we worship the Lord together this morning. Amen. God is here. Can I hear you say God is here? Right where you are, wherever it may be, I want you to know that God is there with you. Hallelujah. So please rise up on your feet wherever you are with me and let us worship the Lord together this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. God is a good God. And here am I to worship, light of the world, to be stepped down into darkness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You step down into darkness, open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made me sad, adore. Let's sing of his praise together. Here I am to 
Let them we are here worshiping him this morning. Oh Lord, we worship you. We bless your name. We celebrate you, our Father. We glorify your name. Sing along. Let's say it to him again. Here I am to worship. I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. You're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful too. One more time, here I am to worship. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am to say that you're my God. Together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We bless your name. I hope you are enjoying the goodness of his presence where you are. I hope you are celebrating God together with us where you are. I want you to lift up your voice in worship and appreciate the King of Kings. We worship you, our Father. We bless your name. Let's bless him together. Let's bless him together. God is here with you right where you are. Let's celebrate him. Even as we sing of the splendor of a king. He is the King of Kings. Let's sing of his splendor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord. The splendor of a king, clothed in majesty. Let all the heart rejoice. Let all the heart rejoice. He wraps himself in life. He wraps himself. In a darkness tries to hide. I tremble at his voice. I tremble at his voice. I pray. Hallelujah. I pray. He's not. Yes. Sing with me. I pray. He's not. Father, Spirit, and Son. Father, Spirit, and Son. The Lion and the Lamb. The Lion and the Lamb. I'll pray. Hallelujah. I'll pray. He's our God. Sing with me. I'll pray. He's our God. Oh, we see our Jesus,
one more time. How great is our God? How great is our God? Sing with me. How great is our God? All we sing, how great, how great is our God? Hallelujah. Isn't our God a great God? A great, a great God. God is a good God. God. Amen. Amen. I, I know right where you are, you are, you are enjoying the privilege of His presence. presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, God is, is a good God. God. And, and we're, we're going, going to sing the majesty of our God again. again. The, the mighty God, God the great one. Amen. Can I hear you say, My God is a great God? My God is a great God. Not a great God, I say, My God is the great God. God is a my God, God is the mighty God. God. My God is a mighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah, oh Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. You are the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, you are the mighty God, you are the great I am. Hallelujah, one more time. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. I say glory to God. I say glory to God. Jesus is a great God. We give you praise. We, we bless, bless your, your name. name. Please, Please have, have your seed with me. me. Have, have your seed with me. With me. Thank God, God for the privilege of his presence. presence. Amen. Amen. And, and I know as you have joined in this worship of God today, the, the gate, gate of heaven is already open to you. Amen. 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 The, the gate, gate of heaven, heaven is already open to you. Jesus, Jesus Christ, the King himself, is paying attention to you right now. Because I'm fully persuaded you are in his presence. Hallelujah. So let's celebrate his presence with decorum. Let's celebrate his presence with focused attention on him in this service this morning. We're going to go into scriptural reading right now. God bless you. Before he was taken, he was commanded as one who sees God. 
that they might gain an ever better resurrection. Some face jerk and flogged and even chains and imprisonment. They were bold, they were they were put to death by stoning. They were sold into sold into. They were killed by sword. They went about in ship sheep skins and goat skins. section of prayer. Let's stand to our feet this morning as we begin to appreciate the Lord, thanking God for continuing to exempt every member of KCA family from the plague called coronavirus and not allowing it to come near our dwelling. God has kept us this far. He will perfect it by giving him thanks. He will multiply by giving him thanks. Let's lift up our voice and begin to appreciate God for exempting us, for exempting us this far, for exempting the every member of KCA family, for exempting every member of this church. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him thanks. Let's appreciate him for his faithfulness. Let's magnify his name and exalt his name for exemption. Let's thank him from the plague that is ongoing from the coronavirus plague that is ongoing. God has kept and preserved this family. He has preserved every member of this family. He has preserved them. Let's appreciate him. We we'll give you thanks. Father, Father we we'll thank you. We bless, bless your name. We appreciate, appreciate you. You have, you have kept, kept us this far. far. You, you have magnified mag 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 your name. We, we exalt, exalt your holy name. name. Thank, thank you for your exemption. Thank you for keeping us from the plague. Thank, Thank you for delivering us, us and our family. family. We, we give, give you all the glory. We, we give, give you all the honor, honor in Jesus' mighty name. name. We're, We're still going to pray, pray and say, Lord, break the yoke of coronavirus across the world. The Bible said, for now I will break his yoke from off thee, and I will bust thy bounds in, in, in sunder. And the Bible says, whatever we bound here on earth, it is bound in heaven. And whatever we lose here on earth, it is lose in heaven. Whatever two of us, any two of us agree on earth here, touching anything, he said, acts of him, he said, it shall be done. Let's go ahead and begin to pray and say, Lord, we break the bound, the, the yoke of coronavirus across the world. Wherever the spirit is moving, what, wherever the spirit is moving, we stop the, 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 the yoke of coronavirus. We come against the yoke of coronavirus. We come against the yoke of coronavirus. As recorded in Matthew 18, verse 18, he said, Whatsoever we bound here on earth, it is bound in heaven. Let's begin to bind the spirit of coronavirus. Let's begin to break the spirit, the spirit of coronavirus. We break off your spirit. We break your spirit of your people. We break off your spirit of the world. We break off your spirit of the world in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever spirit that is behind the virus spread, we come against it in the name of Jesus. As he enters, as he touches the people of God, he shall not, the whole of us shall not proceed. He shall not proceed. He shall not progress. He shall not progress. Progress. By mistake, you will come across him. The, 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 the yoke is broken. The transmission pattern, we break it in the name of Jesus. We break it in the name of Jesus. We come against the force that is driving the coronavirus across the world in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against every force that is driving this virus in the mighty name of Jesus. We limit the yoke of coronavirus by the blood of Jesus. We limit the yoke of coronavirus in the name of Jesus. We limit the 
the spread of coronavirus by the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We are going to pray and say, Lord, let's ask the Lord to help our leaders in this nation with wisdom and understanding to manage and defeat this virus. Of course, we know that the Bible says in Job 12, verse 13, He said, With him is wisdom and strength, and he had counsel and understanding. We are going to be saying, Lord, give our leaders wisdom across the country. Give our leaders wisdom across the nation. Give our leaders wisdom across the country. Give our, our leaders wisdom across the nation. And to Lord to curb this, to Lord to curb this, this menace in the name of Jesus. Grant them wisdom and understanding to defeat the spread. They need wisdom. And the Bible says, whatsoever we ask of him, he shall give it to us. Let's ask and say, Lord, empower our leaders across the world. Empower our, our leaders in this nation. Father, with, with, wisdom with wisdom and might, with, with wisdom and understanding, with, with, strategy, with strategy to calm the, 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 the menace of the virus, to calm the menace of the virus, to calm the menace of the virus, to defeat the menace of the virus in the name of Jesus. We have learned that, the Lord, Father, that China has called off all of his forces now. Lord, we are going to be saying, whatever strategy that they have, those who have that those who have employed to defeat this virus. Virus. Give us more in this nation. Give us more wisdom in this nation. Give us more wisdom in this nation. Give us more wisdom in, in, in this nation to defeat the virus. Give our leaders wisdom. Give our leaders wisdom. Give them a neutral and strength wisdom. Understanding to defeat the spread of this virus in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. We are going to pray and say, Lord, we ask the Lord to lift up a standard against the impact of this virus, against the affairs and the oppression of the church. Of course, you know, there is already an impact already. That is why people are gathering in their houses. That is why people cannot gather much in the church. And so we are going to be saying, the enemy has come like a flood. But the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against it. We are going to be saying, Lord, lift up a standard against the impact of, the, of this virus. Lord, for concerning the church in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, lift up your standard. Lift up your standard. Lift up your standard. By the Spirit, lift up your standard. By the blood, lift up your standard. By the word, lift up your standard. Against the impact of the virus on the church. In the mighty name of Jesus. We say, Lord, 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 we ask, Lord, 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 that you lift up your standard. Lift up your standard. The Spirit is a standard against the the impact of the church, uh, the impact of the virus on the church. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Let's call the name of the Lord and ask God to lift up a standard against the impact of the of the virus on the church. Against the impact of the virus on the church. Against the impact of the virus on the church. As it is, everywhere is, is, is filling him. God will stop it right away if we ask in the name of Jesus. We ask that God will rise against the enemy of the church. God will arise against the enemy of the church. God will Lord, arise against the enemy of the church. Arise against the enemy of the church. Arise against the enemy of the church. And whatever that is going on affecting the church, we come against in the name of Jesus. We come against in the name of Jesus. We come against every force of the enemy. Walking against the church in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, we are going to explain. We are going to pray and say, let us plead the cover of the blood against the sins of God in general and every member of this church in particular from the devastating effect of this virus. Of course, you know me and you, we are the sins of God. But wherever we are upon the earth, we have the mark of exemption. We have the mark of exemption. And the Bible says they overcame him by the blood and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. 
let's use these weapons and say, Lord, by the blood and by the world, by the blood, we come against Ola Faram, we come against the, the, the Ola Faram, the impact of the virus upon the saints, we call up by the blood. Let's cover the saints wherever they are with the blood of Jesus. On the earth, the saints of God in general and members of the church, let's cover them with the blood of Jesus. Let's cover them with the blood of Jesus. We so soak every, every member of this assembly. assembly. We, we cover every, every member of this assembly. assembly. And, and the saints, saints in general with the, with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. With, with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Let, Let the blood separate your people. Let, Let the blood separate your people from, from every form of evil. Let, Let the blood resist every form of evil in the name of Jesus. By the blood, as the virus all of us touches our body, it will die in the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood shall be resistant. The blood shall repair. The blood shall resist. The blood shall repair. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the blood repair upon the saints, upon the life of the saints, wherever they are found, on the on the earth, wherever they are found in their homes, wherever they are found on the road, the blood shall speak for them. The blood shall speak for them. The blood shall speak for them. Deliver them from the impact of the virus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Yet, Yet we are going to be saying, Lord, 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 let's ask for, for the amazing help of the Lord in this church concerning the current event surrounding the coronavirus. Of course, we need a divine intervention. And the Bible recorded in Revelation 12, verse 15, and it said, The serpent cast out his mouth, cast out of his mouth water as a flood. After the Hallelujah. Woman, and he Thank might you, cause her to be carried away of the flood. The Bible says, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the Lord. There was a help of the Lord. Yes. There was the help of the Lord. Divine help. We are going to be saying, Lord, Hallelujah. ask the amazing help of the Lord yes. in this church. Let's send ask us help, for the amazing Hallelujah. help of the Lord. Send amazing help. Send your help, Father. Yes, Lord. Send, Lord. Yes, Lord. send us help. Evil. Send in our help. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Such amazing help in our desire. That by the help of God, every flood of the wicked against his house be mitigated, be swallowed up. No consequence of such infection. In the name of Jesus. La kapara lama. So preketeri ande. Le katakara lama soria. So preketeri lama soria. Ye kapara Yes. Such amazing help. Because we are your people here on the earth. Le kotopolo lama. Such help, oh God. Send us the help. Lord, yes, your hand in, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Send your hand in the name of Jesus. Wherever we are found, for every family in this assembly, such amazing help from above, from the beginning, the heart of this heart of the Lord's brain. In the name of Jesus, let Carlos, keep Lara Talaba, so sorry, can't tell us. Such a big from above, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the help of God, let the help of God, thank you for us. Thank you for us. As you have said, so shall it be yeah. Yeah. in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Again, let us commit this service unto the hand and ask him for the release of his presence. Oh, yes. And Moses said, I will not go except presence. your presence. It's heaven to me. Except your presence. Hallelujah. Go with me. He said, Commit thy works unto the Lord. And thy thoughts and he shall be established. Commit your way also unto him. And he shall bring it to pass. Let us pray. And say, Lord, O Lord, for this service, we ask of God. Lord, Lord, for this service unto you. Our garden will be the church of God. Without the presence of God. Our garden will be the church of God. Without the presence of God. Oh, we ask for your presence. Oh, we ask for your presence. Here and everywhere, everyone is under this service right now. Le kapara la ba suri, ye koro la la ba sandeya, kanda la la ba soberiya, ye koro la la ba. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, that's what we are asking. 
Operating here and everywhere we are gathered right now. In the name of Jesus. By your spirit, oh God. Let your presence go with him. The Catalan delivers. In your presence. There is a difference in your presence. There is a difference in your presence. Let your presence speak. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are going to pray and say, Father, send your word. The word of God is the word of life. The word of God bring about transformation. The word of God bring about healing. And we're going to be saying, Lord, send your word of life. Bringing about here health and cure to everyone. Bringing about health and cure to everyone. Let the word, he say he sent his word, and the word deliver them. And the word deliver them. Let the word of God bring about deliverance. Let the word of God bring about healing in the mighty name. Name of Jesus. Book your mouth and pray that prayer. Lord, yes, even Lord. today in this service, send, send your word and send heal. your word of deliverance. Send, send, send your word of transformation. Send your word of salvation. Send your word of wisdom. Send your word of transformation. Send your word of healing. 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 Send yes, your word of wisdom. Send your word of good word to me. Send your word of good word to me to heal me. For the physical sickness, for the physical sickness, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. In Jesus mighty name. We are going to pray for ourselves and our family, asking the Lord, the Lord, Lord, Lord Father, to help us. I don't know what is your heart desire. The Bible says, I open, I open, he opened his hands, Lord Father, and satisfied the desire of every living thing. God opened his hand to satisfy the desire of every living thing. We are going to be saying, Lord, we are going to be asking him, uh, asking Lord Father to send him whatever we ask here on earth, he shall be given unto us. And every, so, Lord, everybody ask him. Ask, okay, ask if whatever you are desiring from this service, please go to God and ask of God, ask of the Lord. Ask of the Lord. I don't know why you are here, but one thing is sure, the word of God is key. If God sends his word in your direction, every darkness will fade away. Every darkness will fade away. Whatever you desire now, ask, let's, let's ask, ask God. Pray, 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 pray. Let God hear your voice. Let God hear your voice. Whatever ye desire, when, when ye pray, pray believe, believe that they receive it, and ye shall have them. You have to ask God, there is a command to ask. There is a command to ask. Ask God, whatever is your heart desire, whatever is your heart desire, whatever is your heart desire, if there is nothing to ask of, you can ask the Lord, begin to thank God, because he's sending his word in your direction. You can begin to thank God with an expectation. You can begin to thank God with an expectation, because the word of God is coming. Because the word of God is coming. And the word of God has answer to every quest of life. The word of God has answer to every desire of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. And finally, we're going to thank God for preserving the church, especially this far. We have not heard about the, I will have heard about the devastating effect of it, of this virus in our churches. We have not recorded how much it has, it has dealt with our member, with the members of the church in anywhere in Nigeria. And so God has been, in, in, in God has been faithful to us here in this country and to every part of the nation in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to thank God for, for his hiding place. Let's begin to thank God for preserving us. Let me know, thank God for He has compassed around us, around the church in the world. He has compassed us in the in 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 in, in the state here. It has been fine in every part of the world. God has compassed around us. Let's begin to appreciate Him. Let's Hallelujah. begin to appreciate Him. So far, God has been faithful. So far, God has been faithful. So far, God has been faithful. I want us to lift up our voice and say, God, thank you for so far. Thank you for so far. As we thank Him for so far, He will perfect it. He will we multiply that, that grace in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Hallelujah. Will you still give God thanks for your life?
preserving you, for preserving your house. I mean, thank God with your words, for preserving you, for preserving your house, for not allowing him to come near you, for watching over you. Give him thanks and bless his name. Give him thanks and bless his name. Hallelujah. We bless your name, our Father. We glorify your name, our King. In the name of Jesus. I said, I said in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. I think some of you in your homes where you are, I'd like, like to hear your amen, amen where I am here now. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. Glory to God. Well, well I'm, I'm about, about to preach, preach but how can, can I preach without, without uh, worshiping God in my own language? language you know? Some people may be jealous now, but I have to worship God in the language that I know that God understands. Above all languages. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory, Glory to God. Let's, Let's worship the Lord together in our Amharic language right, right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Can you wear the big yard? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you wear the big yard? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you?
Glory, Glory to God. God. Today, Today I'm, I'm here, here to, to inspire, inspire your, your faith, faith and impact your, your faith and, and get, get your, your faith going. Amen. 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 That's, That's why I'm, I'm talking on the potency of faith. faith. What, what did I call it? The potency of faith. faith. And how, how did, did I come, come about this? this? I, kept I kept hearing, hearing inside, inside. the circumstance, circumstance that, that the whole world is facing today is just a circumstance, circumstance of life. And, and just, just like, like every circumstance, circumstance of life, life is rehearsed. Amen? Amen? What, what is, is a circumstance, circumstance by definition? It's, it's a, a condition, condition that, that accompanies or influences some event or activity. activity. Amen? It, it, it is an occurrence within a period of time which has a beginning and, and it will also have an end. end. Amen? Amen? No, no circumstance in this, in this life will, will last forever. forever. It will come and, and it will pass. So, so this also, also will pass. pass. And how do I know this? I know this from scripture. Second Corinthians chapter 4 and from verse 15. It, it says, says to us, us for all things are for your sake. For your sakes. That the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many rebound to the glory of God. Did you get that secret? All things <laughs> are for your, your sakes. sakes. And for, you, remember you remember when they told Jesus, he whom thou lovest is sick. And he, and he said, said this sickness, sickness is not unto death, death but that the glory of God should be manifested. That's, That's what he said. All, all things are bound for your sake, sake that, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving, thanksgiving of many abound to, to the glory of God. What do we do in this situation? Keep thanking him, the, the one, one that, that is watching over our life, life the, the one, one that, that separated us from them. them. Remember last week? The one that separated Goshen in the midst of Egypt, the, the one, one that bears his light upon his people. people. Keep, Keep giving him thanks that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many abound to the glory of God. He said, this is why we don't faint. Verse 16. For this reason, we faint not. He said, though our outward man may perish, but the inward man is renewed day by day. Can I hear you say amen to that? Why? Why? Verse, Verse 17. 17. For, for our, our light affliction, affliction which, which is, is but for, for a moment, moment, works. Can I hear you say works? <laughs> He's working something. He said, works for us. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. It works for us. Of faith. How, How can, can you say, say that, that in a time, time like, like this? In a time, time like this, verse 18. 18. He, he said, said why, why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things, things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. Can I hear you say temporal? For the things which are seen are temporal, but, but the, the things, things which, which are, are not seen are eternal. This, this is, is not, not all, all there is. is. The world is running out as skeleton. People, people are crying. Some, some are hiding. On the, they are not even sleeping on the bed. They, 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 they keep, keep the bed, bed covered and, and they go under to be properly covered. covered. He said, but for us, no. no. We, we faint not. not because, because we know better. better. The, the events of, of life have a circle of time. What do I mean, I mean by that? that? It, it has, has a beginning, beginning and it also has an end. And the only thing that can break that circle is what I'm talking to you today, which is your faith. 
Amen. Amen. The, the only, only thing, thing that can break it is your faith. Faith operates in the realm of a higher law than time. Amen. Amen. That's, That's why Hebrews says, now faith is. Because faith operates in the now, no matter the circumstance, no matter the time. Faith operates in that higher law. Faith is the way out of the constraints of time into the invisible realm. Because faith draws from the invisible realm. That's where it operates from. Hallelujah. We are, we are so, so crisis-oriented. We, we have one news and the whole world crashes by, by it. We, we have, have one news and everybody is running around here, here and there. Just, Just one news. news. And, and why that? Because, because we are conformed to, to this realm. And, and Paul speaking, speaking in Rome and said, be, be not conformed to this world. world. Why? Be, be ye what? Transformed. By, by the, the renewing, renewing of, of your, your mind, be, be transformed. transformed. Though you are in this world, you are, you are not, not of this world. world. Don't, Don't be subjected, subjected to it. Most, Most of, of the time, time what we are seeing and hearing complies. Don't misunderstand me. With, with all the, the inter intellect, intellect of the world, with, with all the facts around. around. He, he had the science. science. Well, excuse, excuse me, sir. sir. Science, science is not God. Oh, master, master by, by this time, he stinks. That's, That's science. science. And, and Jesus, Jesus said, said just roll this stone away. Don't, don't do that. that. Science forbids you to do that. that. We, we, we won't be able, able to stand here. here. He, he said, roll the stone away. away. Are, you Are you following me now? Am I saying, saying don't listen, listen to science? That's, that's what, what I'm saying. They are free to say what they say, but you, but you are free, free to believe what you believe also. Faith, Faith operates from the law of truth. And he said, what is truth? He says, sanctify them with thy truth. Thy word is truth. Amen. I said amen. The, the facts. facts. The, the intellect, intellect, the science, the science are for those operating under them, them are for those that, that are bound by, by them. them. But there is a higher, higher law, the, the law of faith. faith. That's, That's why we're talking, talking on the potency of faith. Of faith. Your, Your circumstance in itself is, is temporal. We just read it. it. Amen? Amen? It, it has come, it will pass. And I tell you, as you operate your, your faith, faith in him, him the, the almighty himself, the, the object of our faith, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God you subdue the circumstance, circumstance of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What, what is, is the, the truth? truth? The, the truth, truth is you are blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. What, what is, is the truth? truth? Peter said, by whose stripes we, we were, 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 were healed. healed. Amen. amen. I, said I said amen. amen. What, what is, is the truth? truth? We, we said in yes last, last week, he himself, himself separated you from, from them. them. You, are you are with, with them, them, but you are not like them. Amen. You are with them, but you are not like them. Just like Israel was in Egypt, but really, really was not with them. <laughs> amen. Jesus is Lord. To the man, I said, who knows who he is as a citizen of heaven? Who knows his right as a kingdom citizen? citizen time, time and the, and the events, events of it are made to serve you. There, there was famine. The, 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 the rivers, rivers were dried, dried up. And, and yet, yet the Almighty will feed Elijah, Elijah three, three times a day. Amen. Amen. It was, it was even, even the king, king was, up, was going, going around carrying bucket like a like looking for water. water. <laughs> are you following me? Yes, you are covered. 
Amen. Why? Because, because our, our supplies supply is, is not here dependent. dependent. He, he got, got to the house of that woman, woman who, who by the, the facts of, of science, had a last meal. When, when the hand of faith touched it, it the thing, well, nobody, nobody was adding more, and, and yet he did not finish. finish. Are, you Are you following me? The, the one who hangs the heart on nothing will sustain, sustain your health in this situation. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. This, this season, season is, is made, made to serve, serve you, if you can see it. Like, like I, I said last week, week it is in the hour of darkness, darkness that, that light, light shines, shines brightest. brightest. You can, you can make, make it your time. And how do you do that? By faith. And when the Bible says in Exodus 11, at 3.11, 3, 11, it, it makes all things beautiful in its time. time. It, it means by, by faith, faith you, can you can make, make all things beautiful. beautiful. I, remember I remember that write-up I gave you the other day. And the Holy Spirit just came to me one night. Faith is a beautiful thing. I just had it <laughs> in my spirit. Faith is a beautiful thing. It makes things happen. Faith is a beautiful thing. And the work is enlightened. So, so when the Bible, the Bible says God makes all things beautiful, beautiful in his time, time it, it means, means by, by your faith, faith whatever, whatever time it is, you, you can, can make it beautiful. It beautiful. Whatever, whatever the situation is, you, you can, can make, make it beautiful. It beautiful. Faith, faith makes, makes things beautiful. beautiful. And that's, that's why, why the Bible says, now faith is. Faith, faith is, is always in the, the moment. Hallelujah. What is that good news you want to hear? You can make it happen by the operation of your faith. Amen? This is your time. Can I hear you say, this is my time? Can I hear you say, this time, while the world is crashing, crashing beside, beside me, me I will be going up. I will go far. Amen? Amen? That's, That's what the Bible says. He said, but you shall go up and grow far as the calves of the storm. storm. While the world is crashing. Because, because faith, faith puts, puts you in another realm. Please, please, please. please. You, are you are a citizen, citizen of heaven. heaven. Stop, Stop living in fear. fear. Except for this reason, we faint not. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory to God. God. Have you not read Colossians 1 13? 13. He, he said, Who has delivered us? Or another, another word says, says who, who has translated, translated us? Look at it. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? And as what? I didn't hear you. He has translated. If you are translated from somewhere to another, that means you are no longer there. He has translated us. Into the kingdom of his, his dear son, son the, the kingdom, kingdom of light. And, and faith is the, is the currency of that kingdom. kingdom. It's, it's time, time to, to live, live that, that translated, translated life and, and live in that translated, translated realm, the, the kingdom, kingdom realm. realm. Amen? Amen? Where, Where a thousand, thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand and it won't come near you. That translated realm. Not the fear realm, the faith realm. That, not the hiding realm. No, the faith realm. That, that the world will come to say, what, what, what's going, going on with you? you? Are, are you different, different from us? Yeah, of course, course that, that, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, surprised we are just noticing that. that. I'm, I'm different, different from, from you. you. We are, we are not, not the same. same. I'm, I'm not, not like, like you. Don't, don't you ever forget that. You are not like them. You are not alone. Don't be afraid.
when they say it around you, tell them, I am not like you. I am one watching over my, my life. Are you following me? If he can, he, except he fails. If he fails, then no problem. But I know he cannot fail. Are you following me? He cannot fail. I would rather put my trust in him than your system that doesn't know where he's going. Today is one thing, tomorrow is another. But his word never changes. Jesus is Lord. Have, Have you not heard of him? him? He is the same, same when? when? Yesterday, yesterday today, and, and forever. forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to God. God. I, said I said glory to God. God. I, said I said glory to God. God. Faith is your, your currency of exchange, exchange in this, in this kingdom. kingdom. It, it is valid here on earth. earth. It, it is valid in heaven. heaven. Amen. Amen. That's, That's why, why God, God tells you to, to live by faith. faith. The, the just shall live by faith. And Jesus made it clearer. To the one man or woman operating by faith, nothing shall be impossible. We access the treasures of heaven by, by faith. We, we access our, our heavenly, heavenly treasures by faith. By faith. Glory, Glory to God. God. I, I say, say to you again, again this circumstance will not last, last forever. forever. It, it has a time, time lapse. And, and it will cease. But while, while others, others are, are waiting for you to cease, your, your faith puts you in the now. now. Your, your victory, victory is now. He said, the, the, the righteousness, righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart, who shall ascend to heaven, that is to bring Christ down, or who shall descend into the depths of the deep, that is to bring it again from the dead. He said, but what's the hearing? He said, the word is nigh thee. The word of even in thy mouth and in thy heart, the word of faith which we preach, it makes it now for you. It forbids you running at us, he it forbids your, your mind jumping, jumping from, from where, where we are we, who we go. go. It, it makes, makes your victory, victory now. And, and I, I say you are overcome, overcome now. Jesus is Lord. I say, I say Jesus, Jesus is Lord. It, it takes faith to bring, bring the realities of the kingdom of heaven to heart. So it's time to stretch your faith. It's time to put your faith to work. And when, when you, you do, do, you see sudden events happen for you. Sudden effects, events of God's favor. Hallelujah. Faith, Faith does that. that. Suddenly, Suddenly, it is over. Suddenly, I thought I would never be able to pay, but my debts are gone. Suddenly, he has manifested. Suddenly, God does sudden things. Sudden manifestations in the hour of darkness through the direct revelation and impact of light. I trust the Almighty that in this hour He will work such sudden manifestation of His favor in your life, in your businesses, in your finances, among your children. Sudden manifestation of His favor because we are His favorites. Hallelujah. He said, morning may last for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. It always comes. It always comes. Lord, through your favor, thou hast made my mountain to start strong. It always comes. Keep your faith alive. I love this scripture. Ezekiel, Second Chronicles 29, 36. He said, and he's a guy of all. He rejoiced because all of a sudden everything just changed. But hear what God says. He said, and he's a guy rejoiced and all the people that God had prepared. Even before the event, God was working. That's why he said, God had what? Had, had prepared. When you thought nothing was available, God has already worked. Before the event came, God has already finished his work. And all of a sudden, there, there was, was a sudden, sudden eruption in, in the, the midst, midst of darkness of, of what God had prepared. This, this is your time. He said, he said and for, for the thing, thing was done suddenly, suddenly just, just like, like that. Nobody, nobody has could even imagine it. It, it happened. 
because, because your, your God, God was not sleeping. Before, before this event, event came, your, your God knew of it. What, what devastation it will bring, your, your God knew of it. And, and he had gone, gone before you to prepare your, your way out. out. Now, now it will answer. answer. He's answering already. You are, you are not, not like them. them. Never you forget that. They have, they have no, no one watching, watching over their life. You are, you are not like them. They have, they have no, no one securing them. them. You, you are, are not like them. them. They are no, no one watching, watching over their children. children. You, you are, are not like them. them. He, he separated you from them the longest time. He, he knew what, what this would be even before he came. Are you, are you following me? He had prepared your way out, your victory, your celebration, even before the event came. And now suddenly is manifested. Jesus is Lord. Please rise in faith. Amen. Expect the acts of God in your life. Expect the favor of God to begin to speak for you. Psalm 6 verse 10 says, Let all my enemies be ashamed and so vexed, and let them return and be ashamed suddenly. Even when they thought they were gaining upper hand, all of a sudden they just discover suddenly everything has come. Because your God has finished your, your work, work even, even before, before they started, started theirs. He has, he has finished it. it. Now, now he's manifesting, manifesting it. This, this time, time, every enemy, enemy of your soul and, and your destiny, destiny shall, shall be ashamed and vexed so suddenly. Amen? Amen? You remember... They thought they locked up Peter in prison. Oh, it was, it, I think it was Paul, sorry. The earthquake was, was Paul, Paul and Silas. They, they thought, thought they, they were locked in prison. prison. And, and then, then the, Bible the Bible says, and suddenly there was an earthquake and the foundation of everywhere was shaken. And, and all the prison doors began to open by themselves. Before they will put them in prison, God has finished his work. Are you following me? And when they did their own, he now manifests is finished work. work. That, that all is manifesting is, is, is finished, finished work. work. And, and I tell, tell you, even, even in the midst of this devastation, devastation where, where people don't know what is going to come next, where, where they are next, what is coming from, from there will be sudden manifestation of his favor for you. There will be sudden manifestation of divine supplies for you. Sudden manifestation of his increase in your life. Sudden, suddenly. He said, he said it. And, and suddenly, suddenly, the place where, where they were was shaking. And, and immediately, all the doors were open. And, and their bands were, were loose. Suddenly, when the enemy thought he has finished them, then the finished work actually answered. I want you to know that the, the Savior, Savior of, of your soul, soul the, the Lord, Lord of your life, life the king, king of, of your, your kingdom, kingdom has finished, finished and perfected your victory even before this came. And now, and now you begin to enter into those sudden realms of divine benevolence. Sudden realm of divine supplies. Sudden realm of divine manifestation of favor. Oh, I thought you'd be filled with laughter now that he has done it already. He has, he has finished, finished it. He's just manifesting it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. May the light of God's grace continue to shine on you. May he enlighten your path and your surrounding. In the name of Jesus. Let me at this point say, in closing, just keep praising him for his manifestations. Don't wait to see anything. Keep praising him because everything is already concluded. And in this time, your time of manifestation. Remember, in closing, what God said, it is actually your time to do what? To shine. And what better time to shine than in the midst of darkness? So expect sudden depth cancellation, deliverance. Even when they say there is no job, you'll be going higher in your own. In the name of Jesus. Expect it. Because we are not like them. You are not. You remember the first message? 
you are not alone. The second one, you are not like them. Now he's telling you, put your faith out. I have finished it before he started. This is your time. It's your time to collect all that is yours by your faith. Because he has finished it before he started. It's time for you to shine. Because he has finished your own before this crisis started. He has perfected your own before he started. Now is your time. And this time you will shine in this. I said this time you will shine in this. While others are saying, we are so afraid. There is, it looks as if there is no fear around you. Tell them I have no reason to be afraid. How do you see what is going on? Well, we are not in the, we are not the same. We are not the same. Who do you think you are? No, 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 I'm not thinking. I'm just telling you. I know, you know who you are. I know who I am. We are not the same. He separated me from you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Remember, it is God himself who said it that this year is your time to shine. There is no reason to say you will shine when there will be no darkness in the world. Remember the way Isaiah put it? Arise and shine, for thy light is come. Why? He said because there is darkness upon the earth and God darkness. So you shine in the midst of darkness. The one who gave you this word is here to stand by you in the midst of it all. You will keep shining. You will keep growing forward. You will keep growing higher. You will keep growing fatter like some of us. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Please rise up on your feet with me. And I want you to thank God again for his word. And say to God, Lord, I believe you. I know this time is my time. I will shine in the midst of this all. My faith is in you. My eyes are on you. I've anchored my faith in you. I know you, would, you do better than can it be imagined. Hallelujah. Just give him thanks for his word. And celebrate him. Give him thanks. Thank him that you are not, I'm not afraid. He said at destruction and famine, thou shall love. Amen. Glory to God. Just keep your faith in God. Keep your commitment to your God. Keep your work in your God. No evil will befall you. Now come now your dwelling. You are covered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We bless you, Everlasting Father. We glorify your name for who you are. We thank you, mighty God, that even in the midst of it all, you keep us shining, you keep us going forward, you keep us marching forward. We bless your name. Lord, I bless everyone under the sound of my voice today. And I communicate the same grace to them. That in the midst of the law, they are coming better than they ever went in. Because you, the Almighty, you have finished their victory even before the event came. And now it is speaking. No evil in this house. Or any member of this house. To any member of this house, in the name of Jesus. You are blessed. As you go through the affairs of your life this week, the favor of God keeps speaking for you. Any touch of evil around you dies on the spot. Because there is one that has given you life. That life cannot be destroyed. It's an indestructible life. It consumes whatever comes by. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Please take your seats. Hallelujah. Now we're going to give our tithes and offerings. Amen. Uh, I was with some during the week, we said, because of um, the kind of, uh, back then, they used some of this credit, you know, they couldn't do the transfer. Well, I told them, just make sure you give it. Send it by mail if you can. Bring it, drop it. All of you, most of you have your keys coming. And if you don't know how to get it on, just communicate. We will tell you the best approach. But never let the devil, under any condition, be keep you back from giving your tithes and your offerings, even now. Much more now. Amen? That is to prove to the devil, I'm not ruled by you. I'm not ruled by you. I know whom I've submitted myself to, and I work with him according to his word. Your situation notwithstanding. So let's put our time. Those of you who already know how to do that, we send you the links. Let's do that right now, wherever we are. And those of you who are here with me, I can see all of you on your phone. Just do that. You are covered. This is a time, like I said in that first write-up, that the saints of the kingdom stand up and say, the devil, no, no, no. 
you will not ruin my life, neither will you control it. Amen? And we do it faithfully. Get our tithes in as and when due. Get in our offering as and when due. Get in our various commitments as and when due. And we keep moving. Then the favor of God keeps speaking. <laughs> amen. I said amen. Hallelujah. So let's rise up on our feet. Don't say you are in your sitting room or somewhere where you give to God, you give to God because you are honoring him. He's not your colleague. Amen. He's your master. He's your king. He's your God. You do it still with that same reference. Hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, mighty God. What an awesome time in your presence. What a great God you are. And what beauty that we have in you to see ourselves as the sons and daughters of the Most High God. Lord, to your honor, we cast our seed today. To your honor, we pay our tithes. And to whatever means everyone is doing it, I command your blessing upon this process right now. In the name of Jesus, let the blessing that attend to those that give to you attend to everyone now. In the name of Jesus, and let the favor that you show to those that give to you answer to us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name. Please take your seat and finish that process. I can see some of you are still on it. You are at home or you are watching us online, wherever you are, finish that process and get it going. You, can, you don't know how to tidy it up, communicate with us, and we're going to put you through. But make sure you keep doing it. Amen? Don't let somebody, oh, thank God, we're even not in church. I can keep my money. In that case, don't even give it because God won't receive it. I've told you many times. I would rather you give what God will receive than do it what he will not receive. But when you do what he receives in heaven, you keep celebrating the blessings here on earth. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm glad you have all been with us in this service. We've been following the trend, and it's been a great time in God's presence. Don't forget, we still have the Bible study uh, every Wednesday. We've been doing great Bible study every Wednesday. If you want to be part of it, let's know. And on Saturday or Friday, we pray also. Amen? And next Sunday, we are still going to be here. Particularly for those of you watching online, we'd like to hear your comments on the production because I, could, I was seeing some just before I came up so that we can know how to improve on the program. I'm sure you had a nice time with uh, Apostle Addis with us today, bringing us. Because I'm not comfortable when we don't sing my own songs, you know. I mean... Oh, you this, I look at your face. There's some of you, when you get to heaven and we start singing a marriage, you'll be wondering. I'm trying to train you now before you get there. That's what we are doing. Amen? Because Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for a privileged session in your presence. A highly privileged session before the throne of grace. He said, let us come very boldly to the throne of grace that we might find grace to help and obtain mercy in time of need. Lord, let your mercy prevail for this one. Oh, rakaparalaba sotoria. Let your mercy prevail even at this hour. And let your favor answer graciously for everyone in this house. Everywhere they are right now, hearing the sound of my voice, going about their work, I'm commending your favor upon everyone in the name of Jesus. Your great grace. Speaking hell, he said, Behold, I bring you health and kill, and I will kill them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. <laughs> Thank you for your health and your kill. Thank you for the revelation of your great grace. We bless you forever, mighty God. I bless the week for everyone hearing me today. I speak the favor of God into this week for you. I say the mercy of God that separated you from all destruction answers for you mightily this week. In the name of Jesus, the God whom you have come to serve this morning, go with you all through this week. Make straight thy path. Secure your very environment and increase you on every side. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's share the goodness together. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. 
that the Lord cause the light of his countenance to shine upon you and give you peace. 